What is good with y'all today, man? It's Cole Brown, and today I will be giving y'all some tips to get more lean, get more shredded, and yeah, get ready for this summer, man. So, first off, drinking calories. So, drinking calories is something a lot of people don't think about. You know, it was one big issue of mine. I drink a lot of sweet tea. I might go out, drink like three, four glasses of sweet tea because I'm trying to get my money's worth, you know. The refill free might as well and you know it starts building up it starts adding up a cup of sweet tea might only be 100 calories or so but then you have three or four that's 400 calories if you do that three times four times a week it starts adding up and uh, a lot of people drink soda I've never been a soda drinker drinker but I know a lot of people drink soda every day it starts adding up man and it has a lot of ingredients that aren't good for you and that's going to affect how you perform so man just be done with that stuff or at least try to go to diet soda coke zero but i mean honestly that that has a lot of questionable ingredients too y'all gotta watch what y'all put in your body for real so if it was me like just be done with it but i know some of y'all y'all been drinking soda every day for such a long time that's you just gotta work your way down, go to diet, you know. Do what you gotta do, man, but at least try to go in the right direction. Um, Next one, man, uh, calorie dense food. You know, I, I hear it all the time, dudes be like, oh, I don't eat that many calories, I don't eat that many calories. I mean, I'm, I'm messing up. I don't eat that much food, I don't eat that much food, but it's like, the food is so high in calories, you eating fried food every day, you having milkshakes all the time, You you put in extra syrup on everything, extra ketchup, extra mustard, like all these extra condiments that you don't think of and that's, you just adding calories to your food for a taste. So um, be aware of the food that you're eating. You know, a lot of this fried food is super high. That's why in the 75 hard day challenge, um, I just pick no, no sweet drinks, no fried food cause I'm just trying to get more lean. And you know, it's only been a couple, it's been a couple weeks and I can tell a huge difference, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So y'all just keep that in mind. Um, Next, do cardio. If you don't like that intense cardio, you know, the bike in, the Stairmaster, um, just do low intensity, go on a long walk, you know. But in my opinion, man, that Stairmaster, jump roping for a long time, that builds character right there. I suggest y'all hit that at least like once a week just to, really push yourself man and just sometimes it's about doing stuff you hate to get the results you want you know so sometimes you just gotta put it out there man and um next try fasting um i never really been a big breakfast person because um i just don't like food but i think people eat way too much food nowadays for the most part i mean if you're working out make sure you get your protein in for sure but I think a lot of people just eat too much food. And um, 200 years ago, they weren't eating breakfast, then lunch and dinner. So I start my day off with a smoothie, um, put a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I really just had a smoothie in the morning to make sure I get enough protein throughout my day. Cause my smoothie might be like 45, 50 grams of protein. And then lunch and, lunch and dinner, I'm gonna hit just about, um, about 180 grams of protein. That's about my body weight. Sometimes it's, it's a little less, sometimes it's above, you know, but that's just a rule of thumb. Try to get around your body weight. But, um, yeah, just make sure to watch what you're drinking. Cut back on the sweet tea, on the, on the, on the fruit punch, on the Coke, on the Sprite. Make sure to cut back on that stuff. Or if you can, just cut it out, man. A lot of that stuff doesn't have a good ingredients that are for your body, you know, and it's gonna do more harm than you really think. And um, next, calorie dense food. Stay away from fried food as much as possible. When I'm get off this 75 hard day challenge, I'm gonna just try to um, avoid fried food and soda during the week. And then maybe on the weekend, I'll just let whatever happen, cause you know. And uh, next, do cardio. If you don't like going hard, just go on a long walk, man. I go on a long walk every day now. I might turn on a podcast, uh, audio book. You, you forget what you're doing. You just vibing. You know what I mean? So 
that's a good way to burn some calories without really having to put in much effort and being tired after it. And uh, next is just do try fasting. You know, it's not for everybody, but at least give it a try. And I mean, I've been doing it my whole life and I feel like when I wake up, I'm just like ready to go. Like I don't, I'm not, I'm not, as soon as I eat my first meal, I feel like I slow down a little bit. The smoothie, it's not too heavy, so it keeps me going like a little energy boost but like to sit down and eat like bacon egg and cheese and all this other stuff i feel like it's just too much i don't know that's always been me though i've always been lean so that's my tips i hope y'all enjoy the video make sure to comment what y'all want to see next like subscribe yeah i appreciate y'all for watching the video i'm out